Party Boat Charter Fishing for Beginners Are you ready to experience the thrill of party boat charter fishing? Whether you're a first-time angler or a seasoned pro, this guide is here to help you plan the ultimate fishing vacation. From selecting the right gear to mastering the art of tying a fishing hook, we'll cover everything you need to know to make the most of your time on the water. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the exciting world of party boat charter fishing together. Hey there! If you're new here, welcome to our channel. We provide vacation travel guides for the most adventurous regions around the world. In this video, we'll provide a comprehensive guide for party boat charter fishing for beginners. Before we begin, please hit those like and subscribe buttons below to help our channel grow. What do you expect from a party boat? Fishing is a beloved pastime for many and taking a charter boat out on the water is a great way to experience it. Party boat charter fishing is a type of fishing where you pay to join a group of people on a large boat for a day of fishing. But for those who are new to the activity, the prospect of going on a fishing vacation can be daunting. That's why it's important to be well prepared and set clear objectives with your charter operator, because not all fishing charters are created equal. Some focus on deep sea fishing for big game species, while others may be more geared towards a specific skill or location. You'll receive assistance from a qualified crew, just like when fishing on a charter, from cutting and stringing your bait to washing and filleting your catch. They will help you handle it all. However, you won't receive the preferential treatments that a charter offers because there may be dozens more passengers on board. However, most party boat operators regulate the number of visitors to prevent overcrowding and reduce the likelihood that your line will tangle with that of other anglers. Before scheduling your excursion, be sure to communicate with your captain or guide to clarify your goals and ensure that you and your captain are on the same page. Whether you're looking to master a new skill, catch a specific species, or explore a new fishing location, a party boat charter fishing trip can be a thrilling and rewarding experience. So gather your gear and get ready to set sail on a fishing adventure you'll never forget. What do these fishing terms mean? What do the terms bottom fishing, jigging, and trolling actually mean? If you're an experienced angler, you may skip this section, but for those who are just starting out, here is a brief explanation of these important fishing terms. Bottom fishing. Bottom fishing refers to the practice of catching fish that are found near the bottom of a body of water. This is typically done using heavy weight, a sinker, and a bait or lure, which is dropped into the bottom and then retrieved slowly to mimic the movement of a live bait. This type of fishing is often done from boats, but can also be done from shore or from a pier. Jigging. Jigging is a type of fishing technique that involves using a weighted lure or jig that is rapidly lifted and dropped back to the bottom to mimic the movement of live bait. The lure or jig is typically made of metal or rubber and is designed to mimic the shape and movement of small fish or invertebrates. Jigging is a versatile technique that can be used to catch a wide variety of fish species in both freshwater and saltwater environments. Trolling Trolling is a method of fishing where one or more baited lines are drawn through the water behind a moving boat. The baits are often artificial lures or live bait, and the lines are typically set at different depths to target various species of fish. The boat's movement creates a natural looking presentation that can entice fish to bite. The speed at which the boat is moved, the type of bait or lure used, and the depth at which the lines are set are all factors that can be adjusted to target specific species or to match changing conditions. Trolling can be done from a variety of boats, including power boats, sailboats, and kayaks. How long should the party boat fishing trip take? The duration of a party boat fishing trip can vary depending on a number of factors, such as the location, the type of fish being targeted, 
and the preferences of the group. In general, party boat fishing trips can range from half-day trips, which are typically four to six hours long, to full-day trips, which can last eight to 12 hours or even longer. Some party boats also offer overnight or multi-day trips. Try your luck on a four-hour journey if you are searching for a fun afternoon activity. Half-day trips are a great option for people who are short on time or for those who are new to fishing. They usually provide a good opportunity to catch a variety of species and are often less expensive than full-day trips. Full-day trips offer more time on the water, which can increase the chance of catching larger or more elusive fish. They also provide more time to explore different areas, try different fishing techniques, and enjoy the experience of being on the water. Some party boats also offer specialized trips such as deep sea fishing, overnight trips, and multi-day trips, which can be tailored to target specific species and can be tailored to the group's needs. Ultimately, the duration of a party boat fishing trip should be based on the group's preferences and the type of fishing experience they are looking for. What's needed for a fishing adventure? Party boat fishing trips are a great option for people who want to enjoy a fishing adventure without having to worry about the logistics. The boat is usually operated by a captain or a guide who takes you to a good fishing spot and provides you with all the necessary equipment, like rods, reels, and bait. Everything is provided for you, from the fishing license and the tackle to the bait and the boat. This makes it easy for people of all experience levels to participate and have a good time. Additionally, party boats are equipped with amenities such as bathrooms and a cabin, which can add to the overall comfort of the trip. The crew is typically experienced and knowledgeable about the local fishing spots, and they use the best equipment and techniques to increase the chances of a successful catch. For the best experience ever, it is advisable to bring the following items. Very comfortable clothes. The weather and sea conditions can vary, so it's important to dress in layers and be prepared for different temperatures. Comfortable, non-restrictive clothing, such as shorts, t-shirts, and a light sweater is a good option. It is advisable to wear shoes that provide good traction, as the deck of the boat can be slippery when wet. It also is a good idea to bring a rain jacket or a waterproof windbreaker in case of unexpected weather. This will help keep you dry and comfortable if it starts to rain or the wind picks up. Overall, it's important to wear comfortable, practical clothing that will keep you warm and dry and able to move freely and easily on the boat. Sun protection. It's important to bring sun protection when going on a party boat fishing trip. The sun's ultraviolet rays can be intense on the open water and prolonged exposure can lead to sunburn, skin damage, and an increased risk of skin cancer. Sunscreen with a high sun protection factor, SPF, and a broad spectrum rating is a must. It's a good idea to apply sunscreen to all exposed skin, including the face, ears, and hands, at least 30 minutes before going out on the water. Reapply sunscreen every two hours or as directed on the label. In addition to sunscreen, it's also a good idea to bring other sun protection items, such as a wide-brimmed hat, a baseball cap, or sunglasses with UV protection. Snacks and drinks. Although the operator and crew of your party boat fishing vacation will probably supply all of the amenities needed, you are responsible for bringing your own snacks. Pack a cooler with water, juice, or other non-alcoholic drinks to stay hydrated. It's also a good idea to bring snacks such as sandwiches, fruits, energy bars, and other non-perishable items to keep your energy levels up during the trip. Additionally, you may want to bring a small bag of ice to keep your drinks and snacks cool. It's also a good idea to check with the boat charter company beforehand to see if they have any restrictions on bringing food and drinks on board. Some boats have a small galley or kitchen area where you can store and prepare your own meals. Money. Having extra cash on hand is helpful because some party boats let guests purchase snacks and beverages. 
As a result, you'll have to tip the captain or mate in cash after the journey is over. Typically, the threshold is 15% of the trip cost. Additionally, depending on the company policy and location, some party boats may have a fish cleaning service where the crew will clean and fillet your fish for an additional fee. It is also a good idea to bring money for parking if you are driving to the marina and for any other unexpected expenses that may arise during the trip. It's always a good idea to check with the charter company beforehand to see if there will be any additional expenses that you should be aware of. What types of fish can you catch? The most popular fish species caught on party boats can vary depending on the location and the time of year. This list is not exhaustive, and the popularity of certain species may vary from place to place. But these are some of the most commonly caught fish species on party boats. Tuna. These large predatory fish are often found in oceanic waters and are prized for their meat. Tunas migrate long distances over all the world's oceans and occupy tropical, temperate, and even some cooler waters. Tuna species such as yellowfin tuna, bluefin tuna, and big eye tuna are popular among anglers. Often fish are located on the troll and then chummed with live bait. Bites can be fast and furious and these hard fighting fish can quickly wear you out. Snapper. Snappers are often in abundance throughout the tropics. Active schooling fishes with elongated bodies, large mouths, sharp canine teeth, and blunt or forked tails. Snappers are usually rather large, many attaining a length of two to three feet. They are opportunistic predators and feed on a variety of prey, such as crustaceans, mollusks, and smaller fish. Snapper are considered to be an important species for sport fishing and commercial fishing. Grouper. Groupers are widely distributed in warm seas and are often dully colored in greens or browns. Individuals inhabiting deeper waters are much redder than those living near shore. They are prime food fishes and also provide sport for anglers and spear fishers. A few grouper species, however, may carry toxic substances, so check with your guide to avoid any accidental poisoning. Triggerfish. Triggerfish are rather deep-bodied, usually colorful fishes with large scales, small mouths, and high-set eyes. Their common name refers to the triggering mechanism in the first two of their three dorsal fin spines. Triggerfishes are found among reefs and marine plants, although generally considered edible, some also cause food poisoning. Mackerel. Mackerels are rounded and torpedo-shaped with a slender keeled tail base and a forked tail. They are carnivorous fishes and feed on plankton, crustaceans, mollusks, fish eggs, and small fish. The common mackerel of the Atlantic Ocean is an abundant and economically important species that is sometimes found in huge schools. They congregate in schools and swim actively in the upper 25 to 30 fathoms of the water in the warmer months. If you enjoyed the video and you want to watch more videos like this, show your support by hitting those like and subscribe buttons below. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you have any recommendations for future videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for more soon.